Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to add a wireframe to your 3D object in Blender. So before you begin anything else, uh, if you have a subdivision surface applied to your 3D object, before you add in your wireframe modifier, make sure, yeah, of course we're going to be using a modifier to add in the wireframe. There are many ways to add in the wireframe. I wouldn't say many ways, but in my opinion there are several ways to add in a wireframe, but I think this is the quickest and easiest way to do it. So before you add in your wireframe modifier, if you have a subdivision surface applied to your 3D object or 3D model, be sure to apply that subdivision surface before you add in the wireframe all right, for the best result. So for example, I have applied my subdivision surface, so I won't need to add in any more. I mean, I won't need to apply any more subdivision surface because I'll maintain it like this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this object and I'm going to duplicate it like this, okay? So take the original one and hide it. Now let's take this one. I'm going to add in a wireframe modifier real quick. So let's change the color. I'm, going to, I'm just going to delete the color real quick. Now let's get back to the wireframe and we're going to drop the size down to whatever amount we want. So let me try a point zero zero one. Yeah, so press alternate to bring back your main 3D mesh and you can see it is looking good on it. So when you render this out, it will look amazing. So let's take this one and you can add in your material now, a very white one or whatever color you want the wire to be. So once you add in your material, just change the color to whatever you want to and increase the brightness, decrease the brightness, whatever you want. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'm going to render this out right now and see how it looks. So let's give it a second. Um, yeah, so there it is. Uh, I am in local view right now, but it seems in Blender 2.8 when you're in local view, it still shows all of the objects in the uh, world. So that is basically how you add in a wireframe to your 3D models. As you can see, it is looking on the car I have right now. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.